Hey everyone, Eddie Gray here with thepipenook.com. This is part seven in my video series of how to smoke a pipe. And in the last video, we talked about packing or loading your pipe. This video, we're gonna talk about the charring light. So the charring light, or some people call it the false light, um, is the first light of the pipe, but not necessarily, you're not, you're not expecting to roll with that. Uh, and what I mean is, you do kind of expect the charring light to go out um, fairly quickly. That's okay. That's part of the process. So I used to get really frustrated with that, you know, coming from cigar smoking. When you lit a cigar, it was time to rock. Not quite so with the pipe. There's, there's a little bit extra steps to it. So I've got my pipe loaded up from the last video. I'm going to use... Um, some kitchen matches or a kitchen match if it takes um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to light the match I'm going to let the sulfur burn off because I don't like getting that taste uh, through the pipe and then once that's finished I'll hold the match probably about about right there maybe an eighth inch to a quarter inch, probably an eighth inch over the bowl and I'll just slowly kind of do like that I'll put it close and draw in lightly um, and then I'll take it up so the tobacco and the and the pipe rim doesn't get too hot then I'll come back for a second and then a third until I feel confident that um, all of the tobacco on the top just on the surface is lit um, that's the point of the charring light is to just get that charcoal going um, so let's give it a shot you can use a match if you don't, or I'm sorry, you can use a lighter if you don't have matches. And I'll come in for this. You can see that it bloomed up a little bit. All right, so there we go. Now, sometimes I can roll with the charring light for five, 10 minutes, even more. But I do fully, I mean, that's kind of a bonus. I do fully expect it to go out. Got a little bit of burn left there. And you did see that it bloomed up a little bit. So, but I, I left myself enough space for the most part. Hmm. Sometimes I will let that charring light go out just so I can tamp. That's what we're going to talk about next. Um, part eight is going to be about tamping. So I'm going to let this die out and uh, we'll see you in the next video.